Hi, this is Paul. Welcome to Xcape's daily podcast. Politics, religion, race, and recently gender. These are some of the subjects that are sensitive to each individual. Whether you are passive or aggressive about these topics, it affects us all one way or another. Each person is entitled to their own opinion. Each can view their opinion of the subject as right, true, and valid. While there may be a one true and right statement on these subjects, the reality is that not all people will accept this as their own truths. We have different roots, different upbringing, and different principles in life. Each one has the right to hold on to these beliefs because we are individuals with separate minds, separate preferences, and separate lives. While holding onto a view different from other people's view is fine, there are times when other people forces their own views upon you. The idea of communicating a person's view to other people is fine. But when it crosses the border of forcing it to be accepted by other people, this usually starts a debate or even fighting. While debating a subject can have good outcomes in the end, when the two parties agree on one single thing, usually though there is a winner and a loser when the debate ends. The winner is the one who got most of the audience convinced of his or her views, while the loser is the one who got the least of the audience convinced. But we can ask and ponder, is the loser in the debate really is a loser, is wrong, or is false? Debating is a contest, a test on who's got more information to share, on who's got more skill organizing his or her thoughts, on who's got more charisma or even influence on the audience. The outcome of the debate doesn't necessarily mean the one who goes out as the winner is right and true. Debating on subjects is part of our daily lives. It promotes growth and improvement, promotes sharing of information and views, promotes understanding of other people's beliefs. While this is good, debating is a two-edged sword. It both has good and bad effects too. The problem arises when the winning side of the debate insists that the losing side change and accept their views as their own. This breeds conflict. It is the cause of all conflicts and wars of the world and the universe. The pride and will of those who insist to have their views taken and accepted by the other party without tact and compassion will only cause the other party to reject and might become agitated and can cause hostility. Emotions can rise and logic and rationality goes out of the window. The room has now become negative. Rage can happen and anger dominates the mind. You can develop a grudge on a person and sometimes have this urge to do physical harm on them. Whenever you decide to join in a debate 
of a sensitive topic. For you to avoid getting into the trap of this possible negative outcome, it is good to bear in mind that not all people are the same as you and your views and opinions might be rejected. On the other hand, it is good to bear in mind that hearing other people's opinion and views doesn't require you to accept them as your own. Sometimes, we just have to say that we agree to disagree. And that's that. Try not to feel obliged to accept other people's opinion. Try not to feel wrong. And try not to feel guilty when other people's opinion and views differ from what you believe. Take pause, step back, and take a break and let your mind relax. When your mind relaxes and composed once again, then process the views and opinions of other people on your own with logic and reason. If any of what they shared aligns with your belief, accept the things you agree on and reject those which doesn't. We are beings with emotions. We are beings with intelligence. We are social beings where communication is vital for us to maintain and function as a healthy human being. People come from different walks of life. Each and every one has something to share, to give, and to say. We interact with each other daily, and sometimes we can take part or be part of a debate. Sometimes people have this strong urge to be heard. Whether or not the words and statements are agreeable, it doesn't really matter to them. All they want is to share and be heard. All they want is to express. Expressing is part of us human beings too. If we don't express, we develop this feeling that we are created without purpose, that we are useless. Thus, we try hard to validate ourselves and express what we can. Before deciding to counter that person's view and opinions, ask, see, and think first that that person might just be needing a release, the urge to express. Debating might just be unnecessary. If you feel the urge to express too, Try to construct your response in a way that doesn't promote hostility and negativity, thus saving you from this cycle of going back and forth only to end with no one learning or gaining anything good except for conflict, grudge, and hostility. Sometimes war is not the answer. Sometimes we just have to let people be and move on. Think before you act. Take pause and step back. There is a time and a place when you need to counterattack. Choose your battles carefully if you wish to stay positive in a world of negative. This is the end of part 3 of my staying positive in a world of negative. If you like this episode, consider giving it a like or a thumbs up. If you feel that there is a person that needs to hear this, please feel free to share this with your friends. I would really appreciate it. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this podcast. Please feel free to comment down below or message me through my Instagram at escape underscore TV or through my email tv.escape at gmail.com. 
If you wish to hear more of my daily podcast, consider hitting that subscribe or follow button. This is Paul of Escape's Daily Podcast. Thank you for listening and have a great day ahead.